hello, hello. So once you have mastered the cheetah hack and the smear hack and applying your makeup kind of in dots on your face, whether it be your finger or with a brush and then blending, you can start trying applying it just with a brush alone. Basically my four top brushes for this would be the 3D brush, which is that medium coverage brush. The shape brush is awesome. A little bit lighter coverage, but a little bit more than the blend brush. Uh, the powder brush is going to be your full coverage, but I like it because this end has these little wispy ends on them. So you can kind of push your makeup in. And of course, the blush and bronzer brush, which is light coverage, light to medium. I feel like you can build with this, but I like all of these because you're still able to blend with them. Some of the other brushes, for instance, the buff brush, I find a little bit harder to just apply your makeup because it is such full coverage. So I think it's a little bit heavier than kind of what it should be. Um, I do love that brush for other things though. So I'm going to show you the 3D brush today. So it's that medium coverage brush. Anytime you're using a brush, one to two taps, light taps, no swiping, no hard pressure. I'm gonna start with the big end first with my main highlight shade. That is a color closest to my skin tone. So I just tapped a few times and you can see it on my skin. So a couple light taps picks up quite a bit of product. We're gonna put that in the bottom half of my face. So you can kind of push it on and then you can kind of like buff it into your skin. Again, so you can see that on my skin. We're pushing it in, everything is buildable. So if you need a little bit more spot correction, you can go ahead and add more to where you need it. So I'm just pushing this in. I'm applying the same color to the bottom of my nose where I have lots of discoloration. If you need a little bit more coverage of this cone side, I feel it's a little bit more dense. So that was one tiny tap. And I'm going to apply that to all kind of the areas where I need a little bit more coverage. I love these dual ended. Uh, brushes because it makes it nice and fast because you're going to flip it around as you need it without putting your brush down. So tapping back into that color with the big side and putting that right in the middle of my forehead. So main highlight shades are going to go middle of the forehead, bottom half of the face. I'm putting some of that under my eyes where I have a lot of discoloration. So I'm using that cone side and kind of getting that right underneath my eyelash line where I have some discoloration so you can kind of see how much that took away. Doing the same to this side. I'm still adding my brightener. So just pushing that in. So you can use the cone side for under your eyes or the big side, but I am flipping around the big side. I'm gonna go over where I put that makeup just to kind of pick up anything that's excess. Tapping into my brightener. I'm using my small side. So that was one tiny tap. And you can see because it obviously is lighter than my skin tone, how much that picked up. So a little bit goes a long way. These are 80% pigmented. You do not need much. And we, this is not, this is not meant to be a thick layer of makeup. So we do not want it sitting on your face where you can kind of really see it. So you can flip this brush around and again, kind of push that in. Going back to my cone side, I'm putting my brightener on the inner and outer corner of my eye. I did already do some eye makeup. I did Paris all over Coco in my crease and a little Glamazing in the inner corner. So taking that brightener on that inner corner of my eye and you can put a little bit here and a little bit here, taking that big side of the brush again and pushing that in. So kind of stippling that. So I'm gonna keep that color, those colors where we put them. Everything has its own paint by number spot. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna do some contour. So I'm gonna use that cone side. Tap into contour. Contour is always stiffer. You're always gonna to have to put a little bit more pressure and a little bit extra taps. Um, putting that top of that forehead, temple to temple, tapping in one more time. Putting it at my cheekbone. And taking the remainder and putting that under my jawline. So finding that little groove where your 
jaw meets your ear. Start there and bring it around. And then we're gonna feather that down. I'm gonna flip back to that big side to do that. Okay, I'm gonna pull up on my cheek contour, just blend, blending it in and spreading it out. Moving up to my forehead, I'm just pulling up on that contour, diffusing that line. Again, pulling up on that contour. So this is a really fast way to apply this makeup, but the biggest thing I wanna stress is just the amount of makeup on your brush. Like I am barely touching into any of these. You don't wanna see a bunch on your brush. That is too much makeup. If you apply too much, you wouldn't like it. So, um, tapping it with my finger, it really took me a while to figure that out because I was used to layering and layering and layering and looking like I had a ton of makeup on my face. So, and that is why I love this makeup. Especially as I get older, I don't wanna look like I have a pound of makeup on my skin. But I do love makeup, so I still wanna wear it. Okay, let's do some cheeks. I'm gonna do some Hollywood, which is kind of this pink with a little touch of like gold flecks. Very kind of light on the gold flecks. I'm tapping in with that same brush. I'm gonna put that above my contour line. So this is kind of a muted corally pink, I would call it. It is a satin shade, so it's gonna give you that matte feel. So I'm just pushing this in with that big brush again. You can tap into your illuminator with the brush or your finger. So I'm gonna use my brush for that. I'm gonna put that right on the top of the cheekbones. And illuminator is just that last layer of dimension. So I'm gonna put some on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna put a little bit down the center of my nose. And then of course you can put some on the inner corners of your eyes. All right, I'm gonna put a little bit of I'm gonna do a little La Sienda. La Sienda is kind of the gloss equivalent to Hollywood. Like when you see them next door to each other. I feel like they're kind of in the same family and La Sienda has a little bit of gold flex in it as well. So super pretty spring and summer color. It's a great gloss to layer things because it's not overly bright, but it has a little bit more color to it. I'm going to touch uh, my Hollywood right on top of that. And that's it. So, again, once you figure out this makeup and know how much you need, you can start playing around with brushes. These are my top four. Again, 3D brush. Can't go wrong. Shape brush, one of my new favorites. Blush and bronzer, always amazing. And powder brush, which is my favorite full coverage brush. Have a great day. Bye.